Okay, we have a question from a, a participant named Moondog. And Moondog says that the dog is performing differently in trials than in practice, and that this is particularly noticeable on the teeter. And so uh, what do you suggest that the handler do about this? Um, there's usually one obstacle for every dog that is not the easiest obstacle for that dog, and it's typically the teeter. Sometimes it's the poles. So you get a dog that can um, do it okay, at, at home and he's comfortable just enough to be just brave enough to execute it at home okay mm -hmm. and then he gets to the trial environment and sometimes um, the handler isn't as relaxed at the trial mm -hmm. so there's just that little extra dash of stress mm -hmm. and that's just enough to upset that apple cart the, that this task that's doable in some scenarios is no longer doable. We've all felt that in scenarios mm -hmm. in life. So usually if there's an obstacle or unwanted behaviors in trial that you're not getting in other places, that obstacle or that scenario isn't as well trained as you thought. The teeter especially, dogs um, have to have control of the board and I play lots of bang games jumping on and off the teeter letting the dog learn how to ride the teeter down there is so much groundwork mm -hmm. that this handler is going to have to go back and do till that dog is comfortable with uh, that board moving um, sometimes that work is fast sometimes it's slow but it's absolutely necessary for him to feel comfortable enough with the teeter that he can actually do it in a different environment. Okay, sounds like good advice. Thank you very much. Sure.